If we think about the meaning of restaurant, the root word behind that is to restore. And we use that almost like a North Star for our team to say, how do we do that in a setting, in a context of a neighborhood restaurant? A lot of the cooks who work at our restaurant, they could work in a fine dining restaurant. And we tell this to our cook, just because you are not working in a fine dining restaurant but in a neighborhood restaurant does not mean that your technique as a cook is anything less than that. We want to push out food that maybe in the Malaysian restaurant scene, we haven't seen that yet. Rather than go overseas and eat, we've got great Malaysian restaurants here as well. Just like how we have great hawker food, how do we make sure we have great Malaysian restaurants? Our signature dishes here includes a few things. Right? One is obviously our fried chicken. Second one is our pork ribs. We season it with a dry rub. Then we wrap it in aluminum foil and we actually cook it in the oven first. When we actually prepare them for service, we will gently glaze it with a pineapple glaze. And then we slowly glaze it. And then we put it under the grill. And then you slowly get that caramelization effect. So it looks like barbecue, like American barbecue, but it's not. It's between an American barbecue and char siu, right in the middle. Table and Apron was started in 2014, so it's been eight years right now. Our restaurant is situated in Damansara Kim, PJ, and this uh, community that we're in here has been around for 40 years. Why the restaurant is called Table and Apron is because if you think about uh, people in the kitchen, they wear aprons. The apron that you wear, it signifies that you are a craftsman. Now for the table, it really represents our front of house theme. It's not just service, uh, but it's also about how we make people feel. A great experience is only felt when you have a great team that understands each other. In most restaurants, it's always just the kitchen and then the front of house and they're detached. At our restaurant, we focus really on both being together. Hi, Celine. This is Asia calling from Teba and Apron. Uh, your food is ready to pick up, but this is the first time, right? First time here. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, first time Hope to see you guys very often then. Yeah, and the food is so good. We might have to come back. So at Teba and Apron, we actually have a sister bakery next door called Universal Bake House. So our sourdough breads are also one of our signatures at our restaurant. And when we first introduced sourdough breads here, people had all sorts of questions. Your crust is really hard. But today, it's like the best thing in town. Everyone wants to have like sourdough bread left, right, center. Okay, so this is our sourdough. This is the way it's out. Today, we have two spreads. The first spread is hummus and duka. We put this one called duka pie. Duka spices. Why do we put this thing? Because you can put these spices in the dish. It can also be a meaty taste. 就是有有肉的味道，有羊肉的味道，那些 cumin 那些东西。OK， so 另外一个是 spice tomato， so 这个 spice tomato 呢，它会让人家吃啊，然后一开始就很开胃的感觉。其实这个 concept 到最后，呃，其实它是一个 sharing concept。你在等你的其他的食物来的时候，你坐在位置，然后跟朋友一起拿那个烧耳朵，然后拿一点 hummus。然后你这样子 spread 着，就是像我们每次吃早餐这样子。Today you sit at the here, can ah? Okay lah, let's go. Two of uh, four of you, right? Can can follow me? Service. In these eight years that we've been around, we focus a lot on food that is shared plates. The shared plates is not just so much a trend, but we feel that it's a connector. When you sit at the table with your friends. And you have to take food and give it to your friend first. You are establishing rapport and relationship. So we feel that as a neighborhood restaurant, where your experience is not just with us, but with the people you come along with, and that's something we've been doing since day one, and I think we'll continue to keep doing that because we feel that's a very important part of the restaurant. At Table and Apron, being around for eight years. And one of the key challenges is embracing that mistakes are always going to happen. So as a restaurateur, 
uh, a big part of that challenge is accepting that we are always learning and we are always unlearning. The second lesson we've learned was learning how to be a neighborhood restaurant to people who visited us. When people say that you are their favorite restaurant, it isn't just because of us offering good food and offering good service. It's also about connecting them with them in a very real, genuine basis. Remembering their names, or even better, remembering when was the last time they came back. During our 8th year anniversary, we had one guest sitting over here that just by himself was dining. Eat the fish skin, right? So this is how you remember this guest. You remember him as a person, what he did for the restaurant, just like how we do for him. That's where you come in, in front of house. We really believe in the mission of creating better restaurant experiences. When guests are dining at our restaurant, hospitality is present. It's not based on how many people come and dine at your restaurant, but it's based on how many people want to come back to your restaurant to eat. When they walk out the door, they can say this is their favourite place.